In Health Watch tonight, flu season. It is widespread in every state except Hawaii, and the CDC says the overall hospitalization rate is also high. One of the ways it is spread is by coughing and sneezing. Dr. Max Gomez is here to show us how far a sneeze can go to spread those germs. We're all waiting for this one, yeah. Doctor. It's coughing, sneezing, and another big one is hand-to-hand -hand contact. Now, frequent hand washing or alcohol sanitizer reduces that route of transmission. But what about those sneezes? How far do they travel? And where do those virus laden droplets go. Researchers at MIT have now answered those questions with some pretty yucky videos. <laughs> it's that time of year when sneezes probably don't mean allergies, and as this video from the Florida Health Department shows, this is how colds and flu are easily spread. But that's close contact. What about longer distances? That takes a sneeze. As Professor Lydia Bariba of the engineering school at MIT explains in a video for the journal Nature, sneezes are like flu rockets. It's at the heart of understanding how pathogens of one individual become the pathogens of another. Bariba used a super high-speed camera that shoots a million frames per second to record what a sneeze cloud looks like. Not only did she find that some germy droplets from a vigorous sneeze flew nearly 30 feet, her team also tracked the path of different sized droplets. Sneezes are actually really interesting. They're multi-phase, turbulent clouds. You have a gaseous phase coupled with droplets. Turns out some tiny droplets actually float upwards in air currents, which means they can be taken up and spread by ventilation systems. It also means that a good sneeze can spread germs all around you, as this computer model from the FAA shows how germs might circulate in an airplane cabin. So how should you keep from spreading germs when you sneeze? Into your hands is bad news for the next person you touch. Sneezing into your elbow is pretty good, although some germs still escape. Believe it or not, sneezing into a strong tissue blocks the most droplets, but you must throw it away and then wash or disinfect your hands to kill any breakthrough germs. Now, you could also use something that the gentleman used to always carry. My father always had it. A handkerchief is a great barrier. You've got to do something with it so you don't contaminate other surfaces or wash it after every sneeze. One so. sneeze? Well, there's a lot of virus, you know. <laughs> I figured since gonna... it's cloth, it might be a little bit better than By a the tissue. Way, that's the most disgusting video we have ever seen. <laughs> I, I warned How'd you like to be the guy who shot the video? <laughs> <laughs> I think they were standing pretty, pretty far back. Flu shot. Yes. That's the really important thing. But you said 30 feet as this stuff can 30? travel? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And those little, some of the tiny droplets get caught up in those right. air currents, and then they can float. For right. long distance. No wonder we get sick on planes and in cars, mm -hmm, etc. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it so wash your hands. <laughs> and it works too. No wash wonder. No wonder. Thank you, Dr. Max. Uh,